Now let's take a look at F FMCG giant HUL which reported a weak set of earnings. Now if you look at it, the volume growth actually we understand is negative and that compares to a 2 to 3 percent at least three uh, volume growth that we were expecting. Now price hikes have uh, seemed to have severely impacted consum consumer sentiment because if you look at it, it, f uh, it seems as if the company is actually focusing on margin protection versus volume growth and this is an absolute diametrically opposite to what Dabar had said to us just a few hours earlier that they are looking to protect volumes at the cost of margins which is e which could go even lower by 50 to 100 basis points so total income growth of 1.6 percent on HUL has come largely in fact all of it has come in by price-led growth because the volume growth has actually been negative by one percent and this compares to four percent positive growth four percent positive growth and six percent positive growth in the last three quarters if the trend comes up for you and I have the data for the last 13 14 quarters it looks like the first time the company has posted a negative volume growth in at least the last 13 quarters. The EBITDA margins have been maintained. In fact, they've grown by 60 basis points around that 16.6% mark and that is because gross margins have been maintained at 53.3%. The net profit has grown 12%, a tad bit above our estimates, but this again, remember, has come at the cost of lower volume growth. If you look at the segments, the personal care segment, which is soaps, oral care, skin care, as well as hair care, that is where the price hikes had been taken four to eight percent price hikes in the soaps division there the revenue has come in lower by nearly three tenths of a percent margins have increased a tad bit owing to the high uh, higher prices the management did say the oral care segment continues to be a bit of a weakness in the home care segment again 3.2 percent revenue growth led primarily by the fabric wash segment and we saw a margin increase of almost uh, 250 basis points versus our expectations of 300 basis points there too what has actually positively surprised refreshingly is the refreshments business which has the tea coffee as well as ice creams business there the revenue growth has come in at 8.3 percent and the margins too have come in at 14.8 percent versus 13.6 percent commenting on the numbers the management of uh, HUL has said that in challenging market conditions we delivered another quarter of profitable growth we remain focused on market development consumer-led innovations and even sharper drive in operating efficiencies with good monsoons we accept expect a gradual improvement in market demand and remain positive in the mid uh, to long term outlook for the company and the strategic agenda for delivering consistent competitive profitable and responsible growth remains unchanged the latter half of that commentary coming in has absolutely been unchanged from the last quarter and the market uh, market conditions to continue to be challenging with negative volume growth of 1% let's get in some analyst reactions then we have sanjay manyal of icici direct sanjay what do you make of these numbers 1.6% revenue growth we understand that the volume growth is a negative one percent profitability has been protected increased but uh, what would you make of the negative volume growth yeah so it's a, it's a bit of disappointment uh, because we were expecting uh, in a range of four to five percent kind of a volume growth but uh, as you mentioned it has posted a negative kind of a volume growth uh, 1.4 percent sales growth is also reflecting a fairly negative uh, as far as the sales growth is concerned but what i understand uh, that probably the rural growth would come in the second half of fy17 uh, uh, mainly due to the good monsoon this year uh, and probably this uh could be the one of the uh, one of the last uh, quarters uh, where we see this uh, kind of a muted uh, revenue growth uh, or volume growth performance all right sanjay but uh, what would your call on this stock be you know because it is not particularly cheap still trading at a premium to the industry as it always has but currently if you look at current valuations it's still trading at 41 42 times one year forward so at these valuations what would your call on the stock be uh, we we remain positive uh, as uh, i mentioned because we expect uh, uh, the second half of fs17 to be positive uh, mainly uh, and probably you would see some kind of a uh, you know a, a rural growth would be coming uh, uh, in the in the later part uh, of the year uh, and even for a longer term perspective we remain positive because uh, uh, the personal care business would uh, grow uh, uh, would grow uh, at a faster pace uh, you know going forward uh, and uh, uh, probably you would see even volume growth as well as the premiumization taking place uh, in future so company would be able to maintain this kind of a margin uh, uh, in the in a longer run and uh, we would uh, see the next means we remain positive from the next three to five years perspective uh, considering the uh, income level going up uh, and, and uh, uh, you know premiumization taking place all right uh, but Sanjay what would you make of this strategy of HUL to take price hikes at the cost of volume growth and compare that to what Dabar had told us just a few hours before that they are looking to protect volumes at the cost of margins how would you compare these two then in the FMCG space 
so we we have uh, seen that the the palm oil prices have gone up uh, uh, sharply uh, you know from last uh, last three four months and uh, probably uh, that's that's where the most of the companies uh, uh, specifically HUL has taken the promotions back promotions uh, which were they, which they were giving earlier have uh, they have taken that, those uh, promotions back and uh, probably that has been reflected in the price growth uh, uh, you know uh, uh, as you mentioned so uh, what uh, what I believe uh, that uh, probably they would be able to maintain this kind of margin. Uh, as far as volume growth is concerned, uh, I think it should come uh, back in the in the second uh, half of FI17. And what would your expectation be? Uh, in terms of... Uh, volume growth for the second half of this year? Uh, we, we are expecting 5% plus kind of a volume growth. And after these numbers, would you change your estimates on uh, HUL as far as uh, uh, the EPS is concerned? We are working on the numbers, but uh, I, I don't think we would uh, change our uh, rating, uh, uh, you know, at this point in time. Uh, we might change, we might tweak some numbers, uh, you know, uh, in this quarter. All right. Uh, thanks a lot, Sanjay, for joining in and giving that quick analysis on HUL, indicating that perhaps the volume growth, this is the last of the, uh, the negative volume growth that we are seeing, and they expect that volume growth to indeed recover going forward with the margins being protected. On this note, let's also hear out P.B. Balaji, the CFO of HUL, on the challenges that the company is facing in the near term. We face challenging market environment this quarter as well. Market growth continued to be soft, and input costs inflated further. We'll keep the focus on volume growth and improvement in operating margins, and we'll continue to drive consistent, competitive, profitable, and responsible growth. All right, uh, with that, it's